So people decide. Fire Paladin. Let's go. Let it roll. <laughs> First, before we even bother showing this build, you need to understand what is Paladin in games. It's knight, so main weapons should be melee and magic for support skills. But I know how you like magic and enshrouded. Anyway, according to pool I made on channel, rule for this Paladin is use only one magic type, fire magic. So our main attack skill is fireball supported by channel healing, light blast, oh shit spiel. So I prepared most universal equipment for this build and its combo of Radiant Paladin and Soldier to boost you defensive, melee attack, and HP. There is no sense use special equipment for magic skills boost. All boost comes from skill tree and they are enough to keep this build running. As for rings, there are two choices. Two rings of rapacity for boost magic damage and one ring of rapacity plus one ring of health or commander ring to boost you HP and keep magic running. Skill tree. Here I want to clarify something. Don't even bother use swords for this build. After my pure DPS tests, I can clear say, both skills boosting cutting damage, not work. In other side, both skills for blunt damage works and skills from Barbarian Tree should work only for two-handed weapons, but work also for blunt one-handed weapons. What I can say, early access game. So back to the skill tree topic. I prepare for you three variations of skill tree. First, Glass Cannon Paladin. This skill tree boosts both melee and magic damage, but sacrifice defensive. You base only on healing from damage and potions and bandages. But in other side, you have best melee and magic damage. Next, Defensive Paladin. This skill tree focus on magic damage and defensive, but sacrifice melee damage. In my opinion, this option will work best in multiplayer. In solo gameplay, you receive really tanky mage and knight armor. It's for all enshrouded magic enthusiasts from comments. Last, Flameborn Paladin. This skill tree focus on melee damage and death and use all magic as support, as Paladin lore says. Food and buffs. We always aim to use combo of food, constitution, strength, and intelligence. No matter what game stage you are, always aim for this combo. Elixir for extra 30% damage and Scruel for extra magic damage plus Flask of Fell to rise stamina. You can always take the fight Fire Wisp Scruel. They drop at endgame like crazy. It not give any serious damage, but it's a great distraction for enemies. Can group them for Fireball and made Mathron Tro attack useless. If it spawn a Browher, it can save you ass something. So, in my opinion, Roth keep few in inventory. Weapons, best will be Gore Seeker plus Mirage for areas outside Shroud. In Shrouded areas, best work, Shroud Veaver and Fearsome Club combo. Sadly, there are no good blunt weapons focused on fire damage yet, unless you mod them. But I need to make a separate video about this topic, so don't forget to subscribe and not miss out that video. Yes, there are mods for Enshrouded, and it's a crazy topic. I left link to screenshots with skill trees and pine comment. Don't forget to grab the comment section. Waiting for you ideas and opinions, so don't fear rote. Unless you keyboard is carnivore, and you fear to lost your fingers. If we are in fingers topic, hit hard that thumbs up. It's free, and help me reach more people. Maybe there come that day where I can leave work in junkyard and live from made content for you guys if you're still alive at this part of video. Consider watching next video. See you in the next one.